Hey guys, what's up? My name is Chaotic and welcome back to another Grand Theft Auto 5 video here on my channel. Now in today's video, I'm going to be discussing the brand new vehicle that will be coming out tomorrow in GTA Online. We are of course now down to the two final remaining cars from the gun running update, those being the Ocelot XA21 and the Ardent. But just one of those two vehicles will be releasing tomorrow on Tuesday, August 15th, with the other coming out the following week on August 22nd. Now along with those two cars, there's also the chance of receiving some additional content too, which we will be talking about a little later on. But first, which of these two remaining cars will be coming out tomorrow in GTA Online? Well, as I'm sure you guys know, we can't say anything for definite because an official release order hasn't been found or wasn't listed in the game files this time round as there has been in the past with other updates. But the choice is pretty obvious. With the Ocelot XA21, a brand new cool looking supercar priced at $2.2 million and soon to become one of the fastest new cars in GTA Online, and the Ardent, a fairly basic old style weaponized vehicle with machine guns in the front bumper, we all know which car we'd prefer to be receiving tomorrow, especially with the Ardent being the least anticipated new vehicle out of all the unreleased vehicles from the gun running update, and it's not exactly very special either, it's more of a filler vehicle in my opinion, just something for Rockstar to release to fill the time. But the chances of Rockstar ending the special event content release weeks with the Ardens is rather unlikely. It seems more logical to finish on a high with the car the community actually wants, not only just to round the update off on a high, but to also carry the hype for as long as possible. Which is why the Ardent is currently the most likely new vehicle to be released tomorrow in GTA Online. Now of course this isn't a confirmation, we can't say for definite, this is just speculation, but as I'm sure you guys would agree, it's just what Rockstar do, and have done now numerous times in the past. So then, expect tomorrow for the Ardent to be released into GTA Online on the Warstock Cash and Carry website at a price of just over $1 million. It will be available to purchase at the usual time, which over the past few weeks has been a little after 9.30am. Now if you guys live outside of the UK and you're not too sure exactly what time that will be for you, of course just go ahead and Google the time zone difference. But honestly, I want to give you guys some solid advice here. I would recommend avoiding buying the Ardent. I've already tested this in single player with mods and honestly it's just a complete waste of money. There is nothing special with this vehicle whatsoever. Now sure the car does have a cool retro look and feel to it and if you guys like that then you may like this vehicle. And it also has a few cool customization options too but at $1 million it is not good value for money and it's just completely overpriced for what you're getting. The machine guns aren't very good just like on the Night Shark and in no way shape or form is this thing armoured either. There are much better vehicles available in GTA Online for similar or a lot less money. So the Ardent is definitely one to avoid if it is released tomorrow in GTA Online. Just save your money and purchase the XA21 instead, which like I said will most likely be available the following week on August 22nd. Now in regards to other content that may be available in GTA Online tomorrow, with the release of Overtime Shootout, the adversary mode last week, we most likely will be receiving any new game modes or adversary mode content, but instead just an extension to the double money and RP bonus on Overtime Shootout. Now as bad and as boring as the game mode is, it's actually a great way to make money in GTA Online, in case you guys didn't already know. So we'll most likely be given an additional week to take advantage of this, and you guys should definitely do so, because like I said, you can make huge amounts of money from this, upwards of a few hundred thousand dollars every hour. And there's also the chance we may be given the opportunity to get our hands on some more exclusive clothing items too. It seems like Rockstar over the past few weeks is offering something every other week, with the last chance two weeks ago to get the Knuckle Duster Pocket T-shirt. It may not be guaranteed, but the opportunity of receiving a limited time only clothing item should start from tomorrow in GTA Online for completing a challenge. And from this point forward, I'd imagine Rockstar will start offering some more discounts on vehicles in GTA Online 2, now that nearly all the governing content has been released. It's usually towards the end or straight after when Rockstar will start offering discounts of 10 to 25% on recently added content. So this is definitely worth bearing in mind and worth looking out for over the next few weeks if you guys want to pick up some of the gun running content if you haven't done so already but at a discounted price. 
Anyway, but with that being said, that's pretty much it then for today's video. So tomorrow then, expect the Ardent to be released into GTA Online. But I of course want to get your thoughts and feelings on this. Do you guys think Rockstar will release the Ardent tomorrow or surprise us and release the XA21 instead? So go ahead and let me know by leaving a comment on this video. If you guys could drop a like as well, it would of course be greatly appreciated and it helps me out a lot. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, I'd recommend that you do, because I upload all the latest and the greatest Grand Theft Auto 5 content. So as always guys, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.